Tonight, Richard wears a blue hat. James wears a different hat. And I wear a hat with things on it. How's it going everyone? JakeXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. As we all know, the Eliminator is a new game mode which has recently-ish been added to Forza Horizon 4 as of a few weeks ago. Now, I believe it's been out long enough now for me to have a personal list of methods, tips, tricks and strategies on how you can win the Eliminator a lot easier than usual. Just basically tips and tricks on how you can last longer in the Eliminator and how you can avoid getting eliminated, to put it short, and it will help you win. So in today's video, I've got two different strategies slash methods, passive and aggressive. Those are the two different ways I believe that you can play the Eliminator. And I've got tips and tricks and strategies in each of those two methods. So if you want to play aggressively, that's fine. I've got tips and tricks for that. If you want to play it passively and sneakily, if that's a word, I've got tips and tricks for that. And then I've got a few tips and tricks for the final showdown as well. So if you're looking for a video which will tell you how to win the Eliminator a little bit easier, give you some help, this is the one for you. So I'm going to start with the aggressive part first. Now playing aggressive on the Eliminator can help in your favour. With these tips that I'm about to give you, you do need a little bit of luck, but if the luck helps on your side, you have a big chance of winning or at least getting towards the end with a high tier car. So, the aggressive method. If you're doing the aggressive method, do as many head-to-head -head races as possible. Now, the trick with head-to-head -head races is to play your luck a little bit. Let's say you're coming up to another player and you're planning to challenge him to a head-to-head. -head. Try not to be facing in the same um, direction as the other player. Let's say that you're driving north, the other player's driving south, if you challenge him to a head-to-head, -head, there's sort of a 50-50 chance that the um, finish line will be in your direction. But there is a 50-50 chance that it'll be in his direction as well. So if you want to play your luck a little bit, try to be facing in the opposite direction to the player. Because if you start a head-to-head -head with someone, as you drive past them, you know, the other way, if the finish line pops up in front of you or in the distance in front of you, you've got a massive chance of winning because the other player's got to slow down and turn around and go, you know, you know what I mean. This is for if you're trying to play aggressively and test your luck. Try to start the head-to-head -head races where if the finish line spawns in front of you in that direction, you're going to have a massive advantage. Now, as I said, you're sort of testing your luck with this because it could go catastrophically wrong and the finish could be miles behind you. Now, as I said, if you're playing aggressively, if you're doing the aggressive method, you're doing as many head-to-head -head races as possible. And another tip is don't be afraid to head-to-head -to -head faster cars than you. For example, I believe I've got a clip of this one on screen. This was just one example. I was in a low-ish level car and this guy was in a level 10 Aventador. But we were in the middle of nowhere, so I willingly went up to this guy and challenged him to a head-to-head -head because I knew, I knew in my head that he was in an Aventador, which isn't the best off-road car in the world and I was in a lower tier car that was kind of just as good off-road. So what I'm trying to say is if you see a faster car than you just think about your surroundings for a second. If you see an Aventador and you're in a 4x4 Porsche so challenge him. Just think about your surroundings when you come to challenge someone. If you're on very straight roads and he's an Aventador and you're not chances are he's gonna get an advantage to that so I wouldn't challenge him. But if you're in the middle of nowhere Give it a good shot. As I said, you'll be very surprised the amount of head-to-head -head races that you can win if you just test your luck a little bit with starting them when facing the opposite direction. And another good tip is the following. As you all know, when you start a head-to-head -head with someone, it kind of pops up on the screen, head-to-head, -head, you versus whatever. It kind of pops up on the screen. And as you all know, when you get a finish line waypoint, it pops up with the direction on the map. But in the distance, you can actually see the arrow in the sky pointing towards the finish line that actually pops up before it does on the map so you can actually spot where the finish is just a few seconds before your opponent if you keep an eye out for this i'll try to have a clip on screen right now of what i mean but just keep in mind while that stupid pop-up is on the screen you can kind of pan your camera around and just try to look for where the thing is it may give you a few seconds head start of pointing in the right direction if you weren't pointing in the right direction anyway but yeah, the aggressive method is just is just don't be afraid. Start the head-to-head -head races where you wouldn't usually start them and just test your luck that it will be in your direction anyway and leave the enemy going the wrong way right at the start of the head-to-head -head race. This next little method is for them to play it smartly, play it tactically and get to the finish while still also having a decent car. 
So let's start the little tips and tricks for if you want to play passively and smartly. Now the way I do it in this is I don't start basically any head-to-head -head races unless I know that I'm going to win them. So as soon as you're in the race, search for the cars. You know you can get rare car drops, so search for them, drive around for them, but try to avoid the head-to-head -head races. Now I would avoid the head-to-head -head races by just simply being off-road. Don't use the main roads, stay off the roads in the middle of trees and just in the middle of nowhere. You can still sort of spot car drops in the distance because the thing is, no one really drives purposely in the middle of nowhere. The only time people do is when they're in head-to-head -head races and if they're in a head-to-head -head race, they can't challenge you anyway. So stay away from the head-to-head -head races so you don't have to test your luck. Just play smartly, stay out of the way of other players while still trying to check the main roads from offland for car drops and if you do grab it and come back. Now keep in mind that at all times in the game, probably in every single Eliminator game, there's probably at least a few cars which are still Mini Coopers. So if you if you come across any that are still a Mini Cooper, challenge them because by then you're probably in an upgraded car anyway. If someone does come to you and challenge you and you have no choice, as I mentioned earlier, do what I said, try to start the head to head while being in an opposite direction of him so you've got the advantage, you know what I mean? So you've got the advantage if it starts in front of you. If it doesn't, you're sort of screwed. Now playing passively, don't be worried about being in a low tier car. If you're playing passively, the chances are you're only gonna get car levels up from the car drops, which may give you a level four or five car on average. But a level four or five car is pretty good and not the hardest car in the world to win it, especially if you take into consideration my final showdown tips and tricks as well. Get to a level four or five car, maybe even six, anything higher is a bonus, but if you get to that level, I would feel confident that I have a good chance of winning. A lot higher than in the Mini Cooper anyway. <laughs> now, the final showdown. Now, the most important thing about the final showdown, and you'll be extremely surprised at how often this does actually work if it works in your favour is to predict where the finish will be. Now you probably expected to hear this but I'm going to demonstrate this on screen right now because I tried it earlier and it just worked. It just worked in my favour and helped me win straight away. Now as soon as you are in the final circle, maybe 30 seconds before the final showdown, look at your map. If the circle is at the bottom of the map, the chances are the finish line is going to be somewhere up the top because it has to be quite far away. So just there and then you can predict that you're probably going to have to drive upwards so you can make your way to the top of the circle and get some speed up before the countdown ends. And then as soon as the waypoint is there, chances are it's in the direction you're looking and you've already got a head start. An example on screen right now, as you can see, the final circle was at the top left hand side of the map. Now this statistically told me that the chances are that the final showdown finish point is going to be somewhere at the bottom of the map or at least in that direction. So as it was counting down I already started driving in that direction, the counter hit zero and what do you know it spawned exactly where I thought it would spawn and I ended up being the first person there by a long way. When the final countdown is counting down don't just sit there and wait, look at the map, take a risk and take a guess at where it could be, at least a general direction and start driving there and get to the edge of the circle. If you do this right, it's very unlikely that this will give you a big disadvantage if it goes wrong. There is a big chance that it will give you a big advantage and help you win. You've probably seen my third ever Eliminator game. I think I won in a Mini Cooper, the level one car I managed to win in just because I did this method. I just went in one direction and hoped that the finish would be in front of me and it was and I managed to get there before everyone else because I had a head start. So in reality, there aren't really any ways to guarantee you a win in the Eliminator. All you can do is just try to give yourself head start, try to give yourself advantages. Granted, some of it does require a little bit of luck, like the aggressive ways. To be honest, in my opinion, by far the best tip out of them all is in that final showdown, driving in the direction you think the finish line will be and kind of guessing beforehand and also looking out for the arrow before that cutscene kind of animation thing goes because it does pop up and you will see the finish before all the other players. I've not played the Eliminator a huge amount but I can promise you whenever I have played it I've not played it just I have played it with strategy and with these little points that I gave you in today's video trust me they do work and eventually you'll get your own little tips and tricks but for beginners this should help a little bit. You'll have to let me know in the conversation below what tips and tricks you'd suggest for anyone watching. 
Leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more full content, and I'll see you all later.